More afternoon folks, Mark here, and welcome to the sofa. No fancy tricks this time, it's back to basics for me, with directional lighting and Marvel Crisis Protocol's blade. So, why not join me at the painting table, and let's get started. Blade is a great model for strong underlighting, given his dark outfit and downward leaping pose. Just needed to figure out how he went together first. Okay, with him assembled, I could start planning the base. Using an old flying stand to hold him up, I could have him leaping into a cellar. Or turn this grate into an uplight. The only other option would be to copy the little lights on Amazing Spider-Man's base, but I didn't think they looked powerful enough. While I thought on that, I could fill the gaps and pin his foot so I could hold him. and then throw him under the airbrush. A light primer coat followed by solid black, then a careful buildup of white from the light direction did a lot of the work and planning for me. On to brushwork then. First up, the face. And honestly, I was a little nervous. Skin tones are hard to get right when you can go back and forth a lot, but I had three layers and no glazing to work with. It ended up being a mix of purple and dark flesh, followed by dark flesh and brown sand, with just the sand colour to finish. And I think it worked out okay. Next up, I tackled the chest plate. The edges of the white spray needed turning into a sharp change, so I blacked out the shadows before painting in the grey mid-tone and white edges. I was trying to focus on getting the light right, which meant a bit of back and forth. Also had to go back and paint the forearms, because I forgot they weren't covered. With the armour being grayscale, I wanted a little colour in the black cloth. So I added a little blue to the trousers, stopping at a pale grey rather than white, and leaving the highlights broader.
I did the knee pads sharp like the chest plate, then went back to the blue black for the gloves. The coat got a similar treatment, only with dark purple instead of blue tint. I was hoping that would break up the model and make it more interesting. There were some odd highlights to follow, because of the swoop of the coat, but they broke up the mass of the coattails, so I carefully followed them anyway. Most of Blade was done now, but the tricky part, the blades, was still to come. With the blades fairly flat to the light source, I was mostly guessing where the highlights needed to go. Which is why I was doing this, but it wasn't an ideal plan. Still, I managed to fudge something together that felt reasonable, and moved on. A plain grey for the boots, with a little extra highlight on the toe for shine. A quick adjustment to the right hand blade. And he was technically finished. I wasn't really liking the back though. Plain black all over felt unfinished to me. After talking it over, I went back and picked out some of the edges as if they were being hit by moonlight. Although to avoid clashing with the bright underlighting, I used a darker blue-purple mix rather than pale blue. which leaves the base. I'd used plain white for blades highlights, so kind of needed a man-made light source. That meant taking the storm drain and turning it into a light. While the base started with the same colours as all my other MCP, I went for a jagged ring of shadow around the light, all the way to black. Any edges that faced the light got a highlight, even if it wasn't entirely accurate. The closest areas even got a bit of pure white to really push the stylized OSL effect. To finish off the light, I added little hints of the glass structure at each end. Then, it was time to mat him down, and put him on his base.
The plan was to cut the lugs off an old flying stand I had lying around, bend the top forward with some hot water, and... Ah. Uh. Okay. So the new plan was to saw the top off at an angle to fit against Blade's boot, and use UV resin to fix everything in place. Nice and simple. Job done. And there we have it, one exercise in figuring out light direction. Not a bad way to ease into 2023, honestly. Especially when it goes well. Although I'm still having to guess a bit with metals. Did I get Blade's blades right? If anyone has any thoughts on that, I'd welcome them. Hope you enjoyed watching me fumble around with light, and maybe I'll see you next time.